Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be game two between Hoff and Hoender. Hoender, showing off the very fancy black. This is on Silphid, three player map. Other spawn is at the 12 o'clock location. Silphid, another one of those maps that feels like it's going to be. Uh, I mean, I feel like it's. People argue that it's a little bit more Zerg favored uh, because of the natural expansion positioning, things like that. But for the rest of the matchups, I don't know. I will leave that discussion to the people who are much more skilled than I. Left hand corner, we have Hoff. Seems to really favor this color green. This color green I have no issue with. It's that weird color yellow that I have the issue with, so put that out there. <clears throat> Again, casting these live. Uh, I guess I'll do the general shoutouts as we're just doing kind of a slow approach on this map. Uh, got the Patreon that's up. Actually have nine donators. I don't have... I don't think I have the wherewithal to name everybody, but special thanks to all the Patreons. And I'm going to give a second shout out to Vivort because he missed a, an additional shout out. Um, from the corner, I did. I think I uploaded for my patrons. I uploaded the initial cast of another cast I'm going to do. I'm not going to redo it today. Um, but I, there was a really fun match between Rhoda and Dark Storm, Dark Storm, and I just missed a whole lot of action, so I'm going to recast that one as well. Pylon from both players, so nothing too crazy in the form of cheese. Forward gateway, there by just a kind of a more enclosed gateway here from Hoender to provide a little bit more of a trap. Thank you, Skincaller, for that sub. I appreciate you. I appreciated you even before that sub. Uh, probe Scout moving out from Hollander. One thing I do like about Sylphid is, especially in opportunities for PvP in the map, is all kind of like the doodads and the weird... Because this provides high ground and low ground. Action. And it, I just... I don't know. I feel like the micro fights that happen out in the map here on Sylphid just are interesting. Two gateway opener for Hoff, which could pay off because, again, this is a map without a ramp, so Zealots can be more beneficial. We do see uh, Gateway Assimilator, so it'll come down to, again, micromanagement. And honestly, between Hoff and Hoender, from what I've seen thus far, I think Hoender is more than able to execute this style of micro against Hoff. We'll see. Hoff moving in. And this is the other thing with kind of this Zealot... This is kind of a Zealot secure... Uh, building placement. Not like pure secure, but basically it, the Zealots have to go through more to kind of deal with this, and also it kind of protects the Dragoons um, from the probe line, and there's more disruption that can happen here. Cybernetics core around that corner as well. Looks like that Zealot's just going to chase down that probe. First Zealot's out, making its way across. Hollander knows he needs to keep that Zealot at home base. Gate uh, Gas being plopped down from Hoff. So it's going to be three Zealots, then Cybernetics core, then some Dragoons to follow. You'll see. Second Zealot being produced by Hoender to provide some of that additional... Sorry, third Zealot being produced to provide some of that additional defense. Here's the thing, though. You can blockade... Oh, is he going to be in position to stop this Zealot? Okay, now finally, yeah, chasing him back and holding this line. Is sometimes you can sneak a Zealot underneath and force your opponent's Zerg egg open. Oh, it's panning right. I'll move it more to my face. Hopefully that'll take care of it. Um, I will mess with it in between things here. Uh, first Dragoon being produced, unfortunately, with this First Dragoon there on the front and the additional Zealots, that could be Hoff's build order delayed, and that will give Hoender the overall advantage, tech and otherwise. Now engaging. Three Zealots versus two. Before that, Dragoon is out. Third Zealot moving up. And now it is going to be three on three with a close reinforcement point. And this is a great engagement point for Hoff, but not able to get the surround that wanted. It looks like Azel is going to be able to flood into that probe line, but the probe's doing a good job of moving back and forth and causing that disruption. So not able to get additional probe kills. Well, actually not getting as many. Well, actually delayed right there. And the probe's blockading themselves out of the defense. But still, Hoender, four probes down, has a tech lead overall. Still has three Zealot standing, and he has initiative, but not the economic lead. And I think what that initiative is going to turn into is a second Nexus plus pressure for him on his opponent. Hoff wanting to move these Dragoons forward. But honestly, like three Zealots plus uh, Dragoons flooding out, even two versus one gateway, that can be enough. Both players about halfway on the Psychor upgrade. And this is actually another critical thing I want to point out from Hoender. He actually, before getting a second gateway, plopped that Nexus down. So rather than being aggressive, he's just actually going to kind of present on the front and try to keep an eye on his opponent. Just show that threat. But 
This could be a critical piece. Uh, is that probe going to get through? That actually might be a reveal. <clears throat> that might be a reveal in and of itself. Also, yeah, Esky. Uh, Esky. That might be a reveal in itself, that he spent so much time trying to deny that scout. Four Dragoons on the front should be enough to micro against this. Another probe trying to sneak out there from Hoff. More effort being put into taking that out. But this is going to be four on two, so these both these Dragoons might get taken out. And Hoender still just now getting... He doesn't even have a second gateway. And Hoff still hasn't planted that Nexus. Did Hoff put down additional gateways? No. So Hoff actually kind of floating a lot of minerals, waiting for an opportunity. I think should be able to get a scout here. Putting down that Nexus, it's going to be severely delayed. Ugh. Putting down that Nexus instead. Okay, so now now Hoff uh, does have positional advantage a little bit. Even though there's Zealots there, I feel like Hoff should still sneak up and just get eyes on what's happening here and not wait on that Observer. Okay, now seeing that pylon. Here's a critical thing. Not pressing any further forward doesn't see that that Nexus is up. There, now sees the Nexus is up and is engaging. Okay, yeah, now realizing that situation, kind of pressing through four Dragoons, bursting through the Dragoons that are on the ground, probes coming off the line, that's going to disrupt mining here, but unfortunately that's allowing probes to get in the mix with those Dragoons, and they're going to get taken out and surrounded. Zealot fodder now, they're pinned in a corner. Some more reinforcements making way there across. Hoender still sitting just on two gateways, but with the probes still might be able to clean this up. Three Dragoons still standing against just probes. No reinforcements. Now it's just probes on two Dragoons. But as you can see, and a, a shield battering being planted, as you can see, Hoender still ending up with the advantage overall because he's got five probe lead plus, we'll see, reinforcements kicking out. And he has probes to expend. He's got, actually somehow knows the exact amount of probes he needs to expend. He's got four on the front. Continuing, continuing to use those shield batteries so he doesn't end up losing additional probes. Third gate plopped down a little bit late. Does have his own Dragoon out. And Hoff able to even up the probe count overall. And expend a little bit of additional minerals from Hoender, which might have kind of... I, I think it might be flat even at this stage. So three gateways here. Even probe count. Hoff does not have natural expansion gas. Neither does Hoender. Hoff still engaging on the front, trying to peck away. And I think, actually, Hoff has snuck back into this. Yeah, Hoender calling GG. Wow, calling GG! Really? I feel like that one could have been fought out. I guess feeling that he didn't have... Oh, with the still press, with the advantage, with the shield battery depleted, felt with the probe attack, it was just going to be a long game that he was going to end up losing. I still would have liked to see that one, that one fought. But there are more, yeah, more reinforcing Dragoons coming out. Basically, I kind of see with the map here. I, I don't think he real. I think he thought there were more, maybe more gateways. Still more reinforcements. That would have given Hoff the lead overall. But I don't know. I won't comment either way. I'm just surprised. Surprised with the close reinforcement point, even four on one, that, that was, uh, with probes that could be pulled, that that was a GG right there. But there's another game to spare. We move on to game three momentarily.